What is up guys, it's Raul TV, Team r for you well, we're back again and we've got behind me a Mercedes SLK 250 diesel. Nice car with a canal boat engine in it, but we're not, we're not, we don't care about that. What we're going to do is we're going to replace the oil filter, engine oil, reset the service light. Let's go, let's do it. Right, first things first, I put the car on the ramp. If you're doing it outside your house, I would recommend you don't do it outside your house because it will have a massive cover underneath it and uh, it's just a headache to get underneath and everything so take it to a garage pay them extra or use the ramps or facilities or whatever that will be the best way and uh, yeah first things first little screw flat screw thing we take that off take this cover off basically i'll this, the demonstrate so flat screw half a turn and then lift and then what we're going to do is we're going to pull towards lift a bit there we go and then after we lift it up, we're going to pull towards the front of the car. And there we go, there we have it. The cover comes off, we can see everything, oil filter is right there. Yeah, so what we do first, we'll just take the oil filter off and uh, yeah, then send it up, drain the oil. Right, to take the oil filter off, there's oil filter, plastic housing cap. We need one of these, yeah, the oil filter repla uh, uh, replacement tool. Um, the cap basically is a metal cap uh, you can get this on eBay just type it in the uh, removal cap yeah I've modified this one slightly because it comes with a little bolt head or allen key head on it it's pathetic so I've just uh, spot welded some uh, a nut on the top so I can use that to take it off all we're gonna do it is there we go I'll put the link in the description where you can get that tool from uh, it'll be in the description check that out and all we do now is 30 like I said yours won't have this on I've just modified mine and uh, we'll go, go ahead and tear that off right there we have it guys the oil filter is off the cap's still on there there's the oil filter there's the rest, rest of it my goodness could they not find a bigger oil filter thing for it yeah I think this is a bit uh, OTT put it that way yeah uh, anyway, there's the filter. We're going to just tear that filter off from there. I can't do this with one hand, obviously. This That filter, just pull that off. Replace it with a new one. Make sure you replace the seal as well. I mean, you can just go ahead and use the old seal, but you're going to get new seals with the filter. Uh, you might get three. You might get just the one. Whatever you get, you replace it, and uh, we'll go from there. What I would suggest you do is do not take it off until you get the filter. Uh, do not take these seals off, because last time I took this one off, and this one off, chucked it away, and it didn't come with them, and then I couldn't. I had to buy. <laughs> I had to buy them from the main dealer, from the agents. Anyway, next thing now, we're going to send it up and uh, drain the oil. Okay, guys, I'm underneath the car. As you can see, what we're going to do is we're going to drain the oil. But the thing is, I'm going to show you a little important and top tip here with these Mercedes from the 204 onwards, especially the yeah the 204 onwards. Um, you need to be careful when you're draining the oil. So I'm gonna switch the camera around and we'll show you what I mean. Right, that is the sump, obviously. Sump, this one, the whole thing, which goes all the way here and everything. So replacing that, you're gonna have a hell of a job to replace, replace that. So what it is, when we come to take the sump plug off, make sure you use a socket and a strong arm, okay? Don't go using a spanner to take that off, okay? Because with the spanner, I'll, I'll de demonstrate. I've mentioned, I've mentioned this before on my other videos when I was doing the 204 uh, replacement, the you know the oil change and everything on the 204 Mercedes C-Class. Uh, what it is when you cracking it or taking it off with a spanner, the force that you're putting onto that bolt is uneven. Okay, so basically you're going like that, and it, the force is just uneven. It cracks the plastic sump. If you cl crack that plastic sump you're in deep trouble because to replace that you need to take the whole subframe off big big job what I do is I get a strong arm yeah not a big massive one but just a medium sized one with a 13 mm socket head and I would use a socket head like this the socket this short one put that one on there put that one on there now when we pull that the force should be even yeah so when I pull that now, the force 
should be even. Yeah, not like the spanner where you're pushing anything on there. Pull that now. Okay, just like that. And it's easy as well. That was no, it wasn't even tight as well. So it's easier to take it off with the strong arm. Now, if you want to get a spanner on it or take it off with a socket or anything, I would do that. Uh, I will. Happy days. Yeah. There we have it, guys. We've got the new filter there with the new seals. Let's bang that on. Get on with this job. This job's taking me too long because I'm messing about and everything. So yeah, there's a new one. Let's go. Let's do this. Right, guys. I'm tightening this back up. I've got the cap back on. Seals are back on on the uh, filter and everything. Tightening this back up. When you go to tighten this up, make sure you don't go mad. It's only 25 newton meters. So when we're tightening it up, the last thing you want is this the housing. Obviously, that's the cap. The housing is plastic. When you go tightening it up, you don't want to crack the housing. Big, big job if we do that. Right, so just tighten it up, hand tight. They only need to be hand tight, basically. Right, guys, the oil is in, everything all done. Oil filters on, oil's in. I've even checked it on the dipstick, which is here. Yep, no problem. If you don't, well, some of these uh, Mercedes, they don't, they don't even have a dipstick. So, what you do is this one takes the 2.1 litre 2012 Mercedes. Uh, SLK takes 6.5 litres, yeah, so just put 6.5 litres in it, don't need to check the dipstick. Anyway guys, let's start it up. Right, okay guys, now we've done the service and everything, uh, we, we need to reset the service light. I've already already done it, uh, but I'll show you guys how we, how we do it. Uh, it's exactly like the Mercedes 205 um, C-Class that I've done. Check that video out, give me a thumbs up on that video as well. Uh, I'll, I'll just show you guys exactly the same. Right. What we do is we come to this side and this side. Come to the steering wheel, basically. Yeah. We turn the key. Take the key out. Right. Start from scratch. Turn the key to position one. So basically, if you turn it all the way, that's full ignition on. Yeah. What we do is we turn it to position one. Take the key out again. Show you guys again. Turn it to position one. Once it's at position one, you go to the phone here, you press the phone and you press the OK button at the same time. So you press the phone first, right, and then you press the OK. If you press the OK first or if you press it at the same time, sorry about that, I got that wrong. Right, then what we do is we press the phone and the OK button. We press the phone button first, then the OK button. If you press it at the same time, it will come up on the screen saying trip, reset and stuff like that, you don't want that. So you press the phone and then like a millisecond later, press the OK, yeah? So I can't do this, I can't hold the camera and um, do this at the same time because I need I need two hands. So basically I'm going to press that and then press that straight away and press and hold basically for about three seconds. Once you've done that, uh, it'll come up to that screen. Yeah? It'll say the vehicle data, roller test, brake uh, pad re replacement, assist plus, you go and scroll down to assist plus using this these arrows here press ok and it'll say full service save service data and stuff like that we'll go to full service then we'll go to confirm full service press confirm and then just press confirm again it'll say select grade of oil just select the grade of oil basically we'll press that as you can see there select the grade of oil just select whichever one right and then um that's it that's all you do then go to the next when you press the next one it'll say confirm you confirm it and that's about it but I'm not going to do that because if I do it now, for instance, if I do that service oil and then press confirm again, it will say it can't be done because I've already done it. Yeah, because I've already done it, it can't be done, right? But with you guys, it will say it's done, completed and everything. Anyway, guys, and then what you do is to get out from there, press back, 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 and that's it. Happy days, all done. There we have it, guys, all done and dusted. Absolutely easy job. You can do outside your house. Actually, you can't do outside your house because it's got a big, massive cover underneath. This one didn't have it, but nine times out of ten, they will have the cover underneath, and which is a headache to get to and everything. A few little things. Make sure you, you be careful with the sump, sump plug that is. And uh, yeah, when you're putting oil in it, 6.5 liter on this one. Check check it on the dipstick. And yeah, anyway, guys, uh, we've reset the service light, uh, maintenance light, all done and dusted. All I'm going to say is like, share and subscribe to my channel, hit that bell button for me, leave a comment in the comment section and I will see you guys soon.